Hello guys and welcome to episode 18 of my Karelia campaign in Stoddivision Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Today we're going to be continuing to head up towards this objective. We need to push through with the first mobile group, probably just going to go straight into the assault gun battalion here. They might get backed up so I may need to reinforce that battle. Let's start by selecting it though. We'll throw ourselves in with the first mobile group, bring up the 1238th to follow up. Can't bring in any aircraft, so I'll probably just bring in the 260th Cannon Artillery Brigade just in case they decide to reinforce with the Assault Gun Brigade and the Pioneer Battalion and so on. Uh, let's go. Okay, they didn't choose to do either. Perfect. Uh, so that's now going to allow us to push through. Uh, we can, in fact, surround all of these units. Let's zoom up the road here. And there we go. Job done. So I'm just going to basically push myself up this road as far as I can. Do have to be a little bit careful about this area. We're going to have to make sure that the 18th Division uh, doesn't manage to reconnect here. So I reckon the best way to go about that is probably by just blitzing into it with the 21st Army Reserve here uh, in order to hold the right side of this road. Because this is really good now. Um, let's just uh, move this 709th away so that they can't be targeted at this turn. And yeah, the rest of these can start moving up on this side once we clear out the 18th Division. So I think this will probably be the first actual battle that we play out today. Uh, they will be reinforced by a lot of artillery, potentially. Uh, but not the 3rd Battalion and the 3rd Brigade because they have no action points. We'll take the 21st Army Brigade in here. Uh, they do have some, art, uh, not artillery, AT guns. Uh, Laheto Yunta. Uh, there is Pioneeri. We've got to be a little bit careful about getting too close to the infantry. There are, of course, AA pieces as well. Thankfully, Nova Cotton's on the ground, just the, just the 20 mil on the back of the truck. Still going to have to be careful. We'll have to make sure that I bring in recon. I'm also going to bring in some reserves, uh, the 1187th. Actually, do I need to do that? Probably not. I guess we could bring these guys in seed just in case. I don't think we need either, actually. We can't bring in any aircraft because of their AA nets. Hmm. Let's do this, actually. Yeah, we'll bring in the the Phase C, or even this one in Phase C would be not too bad. I'm going to use this one because this one can push up the road. Cool. Tactical battle, and jump on in. They didn't get reinforced, so that's perfect. No aircraft coming in. Just going to have to take it easy as we push up. What a big map. We are playing Breakthrough Attack. Hmm. All right. We don't have particularly a lot of points to spend at the start of this one. We've only got the 20 points because we only have one unit in Phase A. I will use these Dorsal Squads with the BA-64Bs though because I can use the transports without losing them on the campaign map. So I'll just bring in the squads, we'll like unload them, and then the BA-64B can kind of push up on its own. Uh, so we'll do the same here. And we've got the same on the right hand side. I probably want a recon squad up on the top. Uh, do these Mothrajetka come in anything interesting? Not really. Uh, what else could we use? Maybe just a motorcycle up there is not even a bad idea. Just have a motorcycle uh, that moves on top of this hill into the light cover. I think I'm happy to do that. And then we just got to back up some of these bushes. So I'll probably bring in a T-34 on one side. Actually, I probably should rely on bigger tanks for the time being. Because I don't have enough points to overwhelm AT guns otherwise. So best just use tanks that can bounce off the front armor as much as we need them to. A Mothra Zvetkar actually probably would have been better here. Yeah, let's use the Mothra Zvetkar rather than the Dosa. 
because the 50 cal vehicle is better than the uh, DT vehicle that we have, the BA-64. Again, we'll just put uh, an IS up on the hill. We can always just bring in the infantry afterwards. I just need to make sure that I'm at least initially capturing some of these points. I'll bring in some Sapati. Probably, where do we want to put them? I'm not even sure. We could throw some into the town, but I'm a little concerned that there's actually going to be quite a lot of troops there. Maybe on the left side is not a bad shout. Might be a bit risky trying to push up onto that. Maybe I just uh, throw them on this side and then have them unload and push up from there. Let's do that. It's going to be a matter of just waiting on the points for the most part. We can bring in three infantry squads every minute, so not too bad. Right, that is an AT gun. Uh, probably best if my BA-64B gets out of the way, in case they decide to unload that. Move my dozer to the corner there. Nothing seen so far in the centre. Oh, there's a unit there. Okay. That was a leader squad with a Panzerfaust, I believe. I think that's the Bofors on the left. I'm just using fire position for this IS. I'm going to move my Dosa squad over so that we can get eyes on it. Great. Uh, now we just need some infantry to push up with us. So I guess I'll just have to use Sapati because I don't really have much choice to use anything else other than Avtos. And Avtos I don't think will work too well. I'll just bring in a second squad on that left hand side actually. And then I'll need one for the top here, so we'll bring one up. It's fine. Let's move the Motors Vertica forwards. And uh, the M3A1 Vertica can move forwards separately. I'm going to have to unload this Sapati soon. Yeah, we'll do that and we'll start moving on this objective. Right, where's that being shot from? Okay, AT gun there. Good to know. Move across and take that on. Actually, maybe not want to put my IS2 in that position. Mainly because in my guess I shot one and not paying attention. Yeah, because it might fire over at this Kivari, and then the AT gun will come forwards and side shot this. So I don't want to be in that position too bad. Took out that AT gun with the fire position. That's good. I'm probably move forwards the BA-64B here now, and I'm going to move forwards the Dosa squad. I'm going to bring up a Sapati. This IS-2 is, and uh, we'll also move forwards with this Sapati. I'm probably going to need a couple to push into the town. And we're going to need a pre couple to push into here as well. Okay. Not doing too bad. Uh, there is a BA-64. Yeah, that's a BA-10M, sorry. Have my tank move up on the right hand side got our little scout car firing away well, I 
am going to need something to stop this truck from capping the spawn. Actually, two of them head in that direction. Interestingly enough. There we go. <laughs> Job done there. Alright, we'll push the IS-2 through the light cover for now then. Might have to be a little bit careful with this Ford AA truck, but I think we'll be alright. The yeah, A64B on the left did go down. That was some Laje do Yunta. Okay. Actually, Pioneer. And they managed to just run up on that while I wasn't paying attention. That's quite funny. Alright, nice. Goodbye, AT gun. I should probably get on top of this AT gun. I might move the IS-2 here over. Got to make sure that I can kill off the AT gun here, though. Okay, nice. Two star, so badly got the job done. Gonna start pushing up with those on the right. I'm actually gonna bring in another tank as well. Gonna bring in the KV-1SS. They do have that extra veterancy, so they can hit those vehicles and stuff first time, which is very useful. I'm also gonna move over to intercept the Pioneer. Great, so we're engaging the AA there. And we've got eyes on the AT gun. Good. Oh, we're not doing badly. We're getting there slowly but surely. Oh, losing this apparently there is not the best idea. <laughs> Let's bring up a Mosvetka with the 50 cal that we can use, and uh, then I'll bring in another Sapari. Right, I'm not sure quite what happened here. I don't know why these Sapari ended up getting pinned. I guess we can probably push across to there. Or we could just keep pushing up like so. Oh, we did bump into hopefully nothing too scary there. Just a Kivari. Okay. I'm going to need some infantry to actually push up here. Well, that's the last AT shell of that IS-2. Interesting. I'm going to have to bring in another tank here. Or some supply. Supply probably is cheaper than bringing in another tank. Move the dorsal back. We'll move the Sapati forwards. To engage the Pioneer. Over time we will kill the a 10 m with HE anyway. Oh nice, and it looks like we killed off whatever was on that left side. Keep pushing forwards here with the uh, Sapelli, and we're capturing quite a lot of these flags on the right hand side. Just need to get up onto that hill here. We'll give that a go with this Sapelli we're bringing in. Uh, let's end up the healthy squad. Right, is that in range? Ah, uh, that's probably what did it before. The two star Kivari. It's well in range. I think the IS-2, just because it's under fire, is not getting that ammo. 
Um, we're going to continue through here and up onto the hill. Uh, this Motorosvitka can move to the edge of the tree line on the edge on the edge of this hill, and we'll move forwards the M3A1 just to scout anything that's coming our way. Although we probably will have killed most of their units so far. Let's kill the Kivari. And we can try and take out the Lahit or Yunta there. Oh, okay, there's another AT gun. Keep spreading out with this lot. Going to move forwards with the IS-2. We can also probably move forwards with a motorcycle now. Oh, good. Okay, that's getting some shells. Keep pushing forwards here. I'm going to bring in more Sapari. And we're going to push through this town hopefully quite decisively now. I'm probably just going to keep that Sapari in the buildings here. It gives them the best defensive bonus. Actually, let's put them in the windmill. They're right by that. And we can move forwards the IS-2 now to accompany the engagement against this Kivari. We'll move the Dosor forwards again to the edge of the tree line so that we can get eyes down onto the town. Yeah, hopefully I can just push across here with these guys on the left. Uh, we'll continue to push up with the Sapari. I might need a tank here. Uh, oh, we already have this one, I guess. We can move this one forwards. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to bring in another one to push up onto this hill, though. I'm going to unload one of those, but the other two... May as well just zoom down into this town. Another AT gun. Oh, we did find uh, that one as well. Oh, that gun is actually going to do quite a lot of damage to the M3A1. It's also probably going to kill off the Zapari if I'm not too careful. Are we really need to get the IS-2 in position there. And uh, I probably need another one. So let's just bring up a leader variant. I guess I should probably have been bringing in the leader variants first. That might have been a smart idea. Because then I could have made all my two star superiority that were nearby three star veterancy. Right, we're going to have two move across to the left. We'll have one continue through the town. I'm going to have my. I have to get into position to shoot at these Lahetoyunta just to help out with that engagement. Okay, this is nice actually because the M3A1 Razvetka can fire at the Pioneeri, but the AT gun can't fire at it. Uh, I need to keep running with the Sapari here. Don't want to lose them unnecessarily. I would move next to those, but it's a little bit risky. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this TNT. I think we'll be in range to throw it. Maybe. Or maybe not. Just short. It's fine. Ooh, Pioneeri versus Sapari. Sapari should win. Just because they have the extra veterancy. And also because we have more men. Let's move up onto the hill there with the IS-2 now. I'm right, going to try and get right on top of that AT gun as well. Alright, 17 to 8. Probably want to be able to get a couple more flags if I can. 
keep pushing across the river there with the Sapari. And uh, we'll bring up the IS-2 into the town. Let's push up with these two IS-2s on that side. I'm going to unload this and push it across the river. We have made a major victory, so that's good. Yeah, that's all I wanted really. We don't really need to go for total victory. Major victory is fine. Very slow and steady battle this, due to the limited number of troops available. I think we did well, I don't think we lost anything unnecessarily. Maybe the Sepadi on this side of the map, but that's about it. And there we have it. 15 minutes, 5 seconds, 48 kills, 3 losses. Lovely stuff. This apparently actually did really, really well. That's probably going to destroy that unit. If not, they're definitely disorganized. Yeah, and that's going to create basically a buffer for the right-hand side of this road, which is going to stop all of these guys from getting to the right-hand side. I guess I'm going to have to put an infantry squad up here somewhere. Yeah, let's just tuck that in there to help hold that line. We're probably just going to smash into this artillery unit the 2nd Battalion of the Light Artillery Regiment. We'll do that. But yeah, this has opened up the road quite significantly for a lot of these troops. Well, I'm going to have to hold in position here. I'm a little bit worried about this Assault Gun Brigade still. Because if I move up an infantry squad here... The Assault Gun Brigade actually attacks it with the Stoke 42s and the Stoke 3s. It's going to actually be really, really difficult to defend. Yes, we have a lot of AT guns, but Stokes are quite well armoured. So, yeah, they wouldn't really fall prey to those as much as some lighter tanks. Like, for example, this one. Uh, like, any infantry squad could deal with the 1st Armoured Battalion because the T26s. I think maybe we just play it carefully and not let them attack us in phase A at least. I Meanwhile, just kind of reposition onto the road. Like so. Just keep our distance from these units. We're probably going to have to keep a couple units down here. Just so they can't spread out too much. This can push all the way up, but we're just going to sit on the right hand side of the road. <laughs> like so. There we go. Uh, may as well cross the little lake there. And with the artillery brigade. Hmm. What do I want to do with these guys? Maybe I could move forward a little bit so that we can bombard some more units here if they don't move away. Alright, next things uh, we got to do is, like I said, attack the 2nd Battalion of the Light Artillery Regiment. So, we don't really need too much here. Uh, they can reinforce in Phase C with the 2nd Battalion of the 3rd Brigade. But the only other thing that it might bring in is more artillery. So, that's fine. Uh, with the third mobile group, I'm tempted to just zoom that all the way up the road. I think that's probably the best shout for those. Because they will be used to break down these troops and that are on the T-junction here, heading up to this objective. Uh, for these lot, um, it's tempting to kind of slip through with the armored car battalion, but it's also tempting to uh, wipe out these disorganized units. 
I think I'd be able to quite effectively. So uh, let's just do this. Uh, those can reinforce an A. That's some artillery, but I guess if they did reinforce, we could still just run them down. All right, and that allows that one to be killed as well. Okay. And then we move back up to the road. And, you know, this unit could cut, try and squeeze through, but we'd be able to be attacked by some Swedish units here. I assume that's Swedish units. And then the 1st Infantry Regiment as well. So probably just going to take it easy. We'll move our armoured cars behind the 3rd Mobile Group. Okay, great. So, let's get on with the stack. Fix to prepare battle. I'm probably just going to use the unit on the far left. Only thing that could reinforce is artillery. Uh, maybe I need like a second unit just so that we get the extra deployment points because otherwise it's going to take quite a while and these 122s could do some damage especially if they bring in some reinforcements like finding and killing those leader squads is going to be annoying so we'll just jump in with two okay it doesn't look like they're reinforced in we go certainly breaking down a lot of this front line and uh, encircling that uh, large amount of troops on the left hand side is really really good okay we're on the, this map again Time to bring out the recon charge um, of the 50 cal vehicles, if we have any. I don't think we do, actually. No, we don't. Okay. Uh, guess we just do Stroke DP then. Might be quite expensive if we lose a couple of them. I I am actually fully expecting to lose some units here, <laughs> more so than the last battle, just because this is going to be a bit more of a, a YOLO play, where we just throw a bunch of infantry towards them. Okay, um, let's have those go up here. Those can go into town. These ones can go up on the right hand side. Uh, these ones can go through the town. And I guess that's fine. Alright. Let's launch the battle. We'll bring in more reinforcements as and when we need them. I don't think we're going to need too much more. I'm tempted to just bring in some snipers because they can help kill off stuff quickly and they provide recon. So. Especially the 122 guns that we're up against. Gonna speed things up. Haven't actually discovered any yet, he says, as he lets the Staraki DP die. And there's a 122 ahead of us. All right. Let's move the Raki and stuff over towards this 122 then. I feel like that might already be trying to target some of my stuff here. Okay, good. It's targeting the Raki DP. Not actually necessarily a good thing because it's going to hurt. Uh, that poor sniper is very dead right now. Okay, let's just get these unloaded next door. That was about to fire up my sniper. Okay, cool. I think we've lost actually quite a few uh, units. Just going to zoom up onto this 122. 
I'm just going to try an arty. I think it is. I'm not sure if it's trying to fire at these Straki. I'm just going to unload them. We'll cool that off. I think we've lost maybe a couple or a few units because uh, these two over here are alive, but I think I sent more over there. I'm not sure. Anyway, give the attack move orders now. Should be job done. Okay, speed things up. Bring in some maxims. Why not? Watch our glorious men go through the swamp. <laughs> Always funny to watch that animation. 20 seconds left. We captured every single flag. That should be this unit utterly destroyed. So 13 kills, 2 losses. Not bad at all. Uh, I actually lost less than I thought I did. So there we go. Maybe only one less than I thought I did, but still. Sniper and Slurky DP went down. Nice effective battle though. And that's going to open up top side here. Very tempted to attack the 2nd Battalion of the 3rd Brigade. Uh, this would be a much more difficult battle because we would be attacking in phase A with the same amount as they have to defend. But if we bring in for example, the 63rd Guards Rifle Division HQ in Phase B, uh, then we could certainly uh, speed things up a bit. I could also bring in the Motorized Rifle Battalion here as well. Um, that's mainly to secure this road. I just don't know what I'd put there. I guess we could put the 190th Guards Rifle Regiment there instead when we move up. Because I don't want any of these units down here moving up onto the road. Cut, off, cut us off there. That wouldn't be ideal at all. So I do need to look at reinforcements. I'm definitely going to probably bring in reinforcements here uh, since we do need more units to head up this road. So we got the 72nd Rifle Division available, which is just Starkey Starkey DP again. The 109th Rifle Division. Are these more or less the same, but cheaper? Yeah, that's weird. And then the 109th Rifle Corps Reserve. Well, that could be a, a decent shout. Mainly for the 109th Rifle Corps HQ, which brings in a bunch of SU-76s. But I think I'm actually just going to go for like one of these infantry squads for now, uh, just so that I can pile more stuff down that road. Right, anyway, let's make this attack. I think we're going to do it. It's going to be a bit of a bit of a tough one, I think. A, a tough nut to crack. But we'll bring in all of these. And we'll give it a good go. Oh, they are going to be bringing in their artillery to back us up. Or back them up. So they're actually going to have, what, 60 points in phase A? Whilst well, so we have 20. This is... Uh, yeah, going to require some micromanagement, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, I've actually put myself in a pretty, pretty bad position here, which I guess is fun. <laughs> fun for you guys to watch, at least. <laughs> Let's see. So, going to have to set up more or less defensively initially then. Uh, I might just bring in like, an, like a couple SGs. These SGs are actually pretty decent compared to the Maxims. So bringing these in is probably a good idea. I'm going to have one up in that tower. I have one over on the left hand side as well. This will just uh, keep back infantry from a distance at least. All right, then we're going to need some probably close range infantry if we have any. Uh, it might be best to just stack close range infantry and uh, play off that. And then again, on the defense, I think it'd be better if we just stuck to longer range stuff. I'm really hoping that the artillery is not too obnoxious because it really could get very obnoxious. Let's uh, get some into there. That should cover that road. Cool. We also want to bring in 
of course our AT guns and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll bring in an AT gun. Let's see, that would be best. Just need one to like almost cover the roads. The one on the edge of there isn't too bad. Let's uh, move an OB up there as well. And then I'm going to need a leader of some sort with those. Uh, I wonder, do we have any larger infantry squads? I don't think we do. I could just use a commander to give them the veterancy. And then we put like a Gavardia DP in there as well. That will be three star veterancy next to them. Put some Gavardia DP here as well. I'm going to need a couple for that town. I'm probably going to put a leader in there as well. I don't know if it's worth the leader though. Um, actually, I guess what I could do, we'll put in like another combat here. Make that a three star SG. That'll be pretty nasty actually. And then we can have that backed up by another squad of uh, Gavardia. Gavardia DP. Uh, maybe a sniper as well is not a bad idea. And then maybe we can throw forwards like a PTRS squad into this town. I feel like I do kind of have to play this a, a little bit like meta wise, especially in like 1v1 meta. <laughs> when we throw forward some like PTRSs to just try and kill some transports that they throw at us. I'll get an SG for that left side as well if I have any more. And then we need a Cavalier TP. Okay, uh, that'll do. That's going to be our start. Uh, we're a little bit light on the ground here, actually. Um, hmm. Maybe I just have to move one of these Cavalier over. Maybe best to go down that road. On this left side. So that they have a straight shot. Okay. That'll have to do. Uh, we're deploying a little bit further back than I would have liked onto this flag but yeah we just got to play it defensively early and then uh, later on we can really put the hurt onto them. I'm also going to bring in more of these OBs and stuff for the ridges and uh, go from there. Let's see we'll speed things up see what happens. All right they haven't deployed too much on the right hand side I guess which is fine. Turning off uh, APCR just so that we can get nice shots onto their transports. We've got to try and kill as many transports as we can, honestly. Alright, I'm going to bring in uh, a couple OBs for this hill. Oh nice, good kill from the PTRS there. Very good kill. Exactly why I have it in position. Uh, I'm surprised that can't reach. What's the range on these? Oh, is it only 1,200? I thought it was 1,500. I thought it was similar to MG42s. Alright, so that's all of our infantry guns down. Yes. Now we just gotta back ourselves up with more infantry wherever we're actually being attacked. So on that left side, in this town, so on. Alright, 
Alright, I think I'm going to move this SG over as well. Move that squad over for the time being. Move that Cavadia into position there. Ooh, something just smashed that. I guess it was artillery. Yep, it was artillery. Oh, that was close. Yeah, definitely going to need more infantry here. Get to a couple more SGs, actually. That'll be handy. These guys can fall back. We'll unload here. They're just forcing themselves onto us. Let's move the combat up so we get the extra veterancy on the Gavardia. I'm going to make sure that these are moving after they finish firing as well, so that they don't get targeted by the artillery. Feels like I'm playing tower defense at the moment. Oh, the artillery is actually coming in on the left-hand side right now. We're going to need to move these guys. Goodbye, sniper. This could actually get really messy. <laughs> I mean, so far it's acceptable losses, for sure. Bring up a couple of sniper squads here as well. I'm going to move this across. I'm going to need to uh, also bring up a commander or something on this left-hand side. We'll just bring a leader for now. Hound's not going to last too well. Okay, that's another Kivari destroyed. These OBs, they might actually end up running out of ammunition. They're going to be firing away constantly right now. That sniper got smashed by the artillery. That's got to hurt. Alright, let's move forwards with these SGs. Got to try and move the defensive line forward slowly but surely. I know what I'm doing here. On that left hand side, I really don't want those guys to get into position. I'm going to unload the sniper, start moving that forwards. Get that smoke down. Okay, let's bring the Gavardia through here. Good. And we're getting decent value out of our units. Uh, we just need more Gavardia here. For sure. I'm going to start moving these Gavardia around. I might be able to make a little bit of ground on the right hand side. Especially onto this point down here. So I'm going to bring up an infantry squad to give that a go. And the Givadi DP went down there. Alright. They're going to be right on top of us soon. I'm going to want to move back both of these squads. Throwing Givadi into this engagement. Good old three star Givadi. They're doing their best. They are getting low on ammunition though. We just unload those Givardia down there. I may as well throw up the Givardia DP into that engagement as well.
May as well save that Cavalier if we can. We'll just have, have him just start to run back. We'll replace him with these ones. Okay, cool. Right, we push them out here. Continue the push through. We have a lot of units, so we can probably just continue to push forwards. Have the GV Comrotti just follow that up. Going to have to move this SG. We'll just have it retreat so it's faster. Bring in a couple more. Okay, we're killing a bunch of motorcycles there. That's fine. Bring up a couple more infantry squads. We did manage to capture that as well. I'm going to bring up a couple more on the right hand side. We'll bring up a leader for those as well because then we can make use of that commander. Much closer battle this. One minute and 30 seconds in. Or one minute and 30 seconds till phase B that is. Uh, I don't know if I want to push here. Probably not. Not yet, at least. We probably need a few more infantry squads. Okay, good. We're in heavy cover on the right-hand side. Their Kivari are not. We've got the advantage there. I think we've started to break the back of this engagement. That's good. I right, bumped into some Givari. Uh, we do have the veterancy bonus on them, which is good. I'm probably going to want to push on to this objective, though. Let's uh, have a couple come across. Not too concerned about the sniper going down there. Oh, that Kevorus is probably going to kill the SG if it's in range. Oh, well, let's unload these. Got an engagement up the road there. I guess we can probably push out from here as well. We'll give it a go. I'll back it up with some more. We've got a lot of points now. And uh, we've also got, I think, some SC-76s I can use. So we'll bring those in as well. Alright, time to just finish this off. I feel like we're, we put ourselves in a reasonably good position. Just got to get the troops in. And uh, yeah, keep pushing through. Well, a lot of troops right now. <laughs> a ton of troops. Uh, let's move forward to the OB to the edge here again. Or oh, the Givardia when they have the three star veterancy. Damn, they're good. Alright, uh, we'll push through the light cover to the left hand side. This SG may as well push forwards. Just sat up there doing nothing. And these three can unload into the corner there. Oh, PTRS did go down. RT taking that out. I think RT is the main killer of most of my stuff so far. Whilst my infantry is doing pretty well on the ground. Let's just move through with the Guardia there. I'm not going to move forward with the combat. I think I'll just bring up another leader. And we'll just kind of charge those down. I don't think I need the Avtos at the moment. Just continue using Guardia. Unload these. Unload these. Have uh, the two that are low health run away. Keep that forwards, move that Cavalier DP out. Great. Doing well, 13 to 11 now. Gotta uh, continue to break the back of our opponent.
Lots of fire support coming in there. Lovely. Uh, this has actually run out of ammunition. Uh, this one, I'm tempted to move forwards. That Kivos is uh, pretty nasty. They're pretty good squads at mid-range. These ones may as well just continue to push across the open there. I'm going to get the SU-76 MPT to come across to the right-hand side. I might actually unload some Gavardia in there as well just to make sure that that's empty. Let's move these up so they can start firing on these squads in the open. Artillery take, takes another squad. Get the veterancy on those Gavardia will be way better off. I'm going to bring up a couple of snipers. And I should probably just start delving into the other units that we have. Let's throw key DP. Okay, cool. We'll just unload these in the face of that Maxim. Oh no, that's the only AT gun they have, and it just happened to be right in front of where I placed my SC-76. <laughs> that's awkward. Right, we'll just unload these further up. Actually, I might have to unload them a bit earlier than I thought I would. As long as they're in range to use their machine guns, I think it's fine. Uh, this needs to fall back. Give the veterancy to the units on the left hand side there. Uh, Artillery is pretty obnoxious. Let's keep pushing, keep pushing, Gavardia, keep pushing. We need more on this right-hand side. Get the snipers up. Oh, these guys have actually run out of ammunition. Okay. Splitting up those Gavardia. These ones can fall back. Quite a lot of infantry on this left hand side. Uh, I guess I could probably use the Avtos to clean those out if I can get there. We've captured most of the flags on the right hand side now. All of the flags on the right side of the map are captured, so we'll start pushing towards the center. I need something to take care of that 155. That's going to be pretty, pretty scary. These snipers will actually help us out a lot in this engagement. Tempted to bring in some mortars and stuff, but I guess actually we may as well. They're just going to get counter batteried though, that's my biggest concern. Let's send a couple of Stralki to go sit on top of that Maxim. These ones all got unloaded, but the Kivari are probably going to die because of that. <laughs> the Kivari here, the only ammo they have is the PP SH that they have. <laughs> I'm going to let them fall back. Uh, we'll push across the open with the Sapori and uh, keep these move moving to the left hand side, move these up like so. Cool. 18 to 6, we're going to inflict a major defeat on our enemy soon enough. We fall these back. 
and 155 has got shots on. Uh, really not sure what happened to the, my infantry squads that I placed up here. Interesting. I might unload one of them just to help us out here. The other two can start moving over to that right hand side just to secure that hill. Alright, may as well start moving forward to the commander now. And the mortars are almost in position. Put them on fire well. And yeah, I need to bring them in some supply. And we're losing a lot of the like low health units now. See if we can get into that town maybe as well while we're at it, just to speed things up a bit. We've pretty much done our job. Anything else I can bring to the fore? I mean, I could bring in the M17 A8 vehicles, actually. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad idea, <laughs> because they can rip through the infantry that we find. Uh, PTRD might be able to get the kill there. Nope. And that's a leader that's just got wrecked by Avtos. We're going to end up killing that supply as well. 150 is dead. That's good. Again, on top of some of this artillery as well. It's actually not a major victory at the moment. I'm actually getting low on stuff to bring in. Yeah, I definitely need something to hold this right hand side. Okay, good. Let's move a Straki back. We'll keep one in the building here. Shoot anything coming down the road. Uh, this artillery is actually doing a lot of damage to our units. It is just all the artillery in this game that uh, has done the most damage to us. Keeping the veterancy on my infantry early on really, really helped us out. Yeah, there we go. The point blank from the 50 cows. Oh, that's going to be nasty. And that's another point under our control. We've actually almost taken every single flag. Incredible. I didn't actually expect it to end like this. I thought it was going to be a lot more hard fought, but I guess after phase A. Didn't really matter. That's going to be Kivari. Okay, so that must have been what killed the two infantry squads on that right hand side. And bringing these in sooner than later might have been a good idea, especially once we'd killed the AT gun. The one and only AT gun they had. Oh, here comes the counter battery onto my artillery, but that's game over. Total victory, 21 minutes, 42 seconds. What a battle that was. That was awesome. 102 kills to 44 losses. Um, nice to see like a, a, a sort of battle like that. Uh, a lot of the kills came from artillery. There are, of course, kills from the Kivari as well, because, I mean, eventually they're going to whittle down my Kivari as they continue to push forwards. But yeah, I'm happy with that battle. It went a lot more smoothly than I thought it would from the start. And we did lose a couple of SU-76s, but that's all right. Then we killed 42 Kivari squads. 
Wow. And well, with that, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. Uh, that was an awesome push. We've now fully secured this road. Just need to finish the encirclement of the forces below us. And yeah, next time around, we'll be smashing into this crossroads. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.